hi students last sessions we were talking about the conversion of nfa to dfa using the lazy evaluation method so this session we just talk about subset construction method it's pretty much simple compared to lazy evaluation so for simplicity and easy i just taken the same example as of the last session we can refer the same diagram there also as i told the diagram is taken from the internet so the question would go like this convert the following nfa to its equivalent dfa using subset construction method so this is the a diagram a transition diagram this is the transition table because a uh, transition table is appropriate entity for uh, solving the problem so now how do i start solving it let's say step one step one is list out all possible subsets and write the transitions so now how many subsets are possible let's see about it so we'll have a table for so many so delta zero and so this is initial status q naught would increase the font so i just copy the same thing q not with zero is q not q1 q not with one is q not q2 this is q1 so q1 with zero is q3 and q1 with one is a uh, null then q2 So Q2 with uh, 0 is null, Q2 with 1 is Q3, similarly Q3 with both is null, let's move on. So we finish subsets with Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, then we have a combinations, so Q0, Q1. Q not Q two Q not Q three Q one Q two Q one Q one Q three and Q two Q three length of two length of three q1 sorry q0 q1 q2 then q0 q1 q3 then it would be q0 q2 q3 then you have length of four q0 q1 q2 q3 hope this part is known for us to write the subset that is pretty much simple to write the subset for uh, any given uh, set since we consider this a set of states so i write i've written the subsets then start writing the transitions accordingly so this is the final state already we have specified it so now q not q1 with zero so just check out this part q not with zero is q not q1 q not q1 then uh, similarly q not q1 
Again, there is a problem with the font. One second. Okay, you can just observe Q0 with 0 is Q0, Q1, Q1 with 1 is Q0, Q2, so it is union if you take it as Q2. I'm sorry, it is Q3. I made a mistake. Then you write the transition for Q0, Q1 with 1. Q0, Q1 with 1 is Q0. Q0, Q1 with 1 is Q0 with 1 is Q0, Q2. Q1 with 1 is null. So it's not there. Then Q0, Q2 with 0. Q0, Q2 with 0 is Q0 with 0 is Q0 Q1. Q2 with 0 is null. So it is nothing. So it is Q0, Q1 itself. Then Q0, Q2 with 1 is Q0, Q1, Q3. I think it's, uh, sorry, it is Q0, Q2, Q3. Then it is Q0, Q3. So it's again Q0, Q1. Since Q0, uh, Q3 with uh, 0 and 1 is null. Q0, Q2. Then Q1, Q2. Q1 with 0 is Q3. Q2 with 0 is null. Similarly, Q1, Q2 with 1. Q1 with 1 is uh, null, but Q2 with 1 is Q3. So it is Q3. Then Q1, Q3. Q1, Q3 is Q1 with 0 is Q3. Q with 0 is Q3, Q3 with 0 is null, so it is Q3 itself. Q1, Q3 with uh, 1 is uh, null. Moving on, uh, Q2, Q3. Q2 with uh, 0 is null, Q3 with 0 is also null. Then Q2, Q3 with 1, Q2, Q3 with 1 is Q2 with, uh, check this, Q2 with uh, 1 is Q3, so this is Q3, then check out Q0, Q1, Q0, Q1 is, sorry, Q0, Q1, Q2 with uh, 0, that is Q0, Q1, Q3, because uh, Q0, Q1, you can copy the same, uh, same state as it is here. Anyhow, Q2 with 0 is null, so it will be same. Moving on. Q0, Q1, Q2 with 1. Q0, Q1, you can copy the same state. It is Q0, Q2. Then Q2 with 1. Q2 with 1 is Q3. Q0, Q1 with 0 is Q0, Q1, Q3. Q2 with 0 is null, so stop it there. Then moving on, Q0, Q1, Q2 with 1. It is Q0, Q2, copy it. Then check Q2 with 1. Q2 with 1 is Q3. Similarly, do it for this. Q0, Q1. Again, Q0, Q1 is this. Q0, Q1, Q3. Anyhow, Q3 with uh, 0 is null, no need to worry. Then check out Q0, Q1, Q3 with 1. Q0, Q1, Q3 with 1 is, it is Q0, Q2. It's better to copy paste accordingly. Q0, Q2. Anyhow, Q3 is null. You can just do it. Q0, Q2, Q3. Q0, Q2, Q3. Q0, Q2 is, uh, Q0, Q2, Q3 with uh, 0 is Q0, Q2. It's uh, Q0, Q1 itself, because Q0 with uh, Q0, Q2 already you have a statement, you can just copy that accordingly. Anyhow, Q3 with 0 is null. Similarly, you can just check out here, Q0, Q2 with 
one would be q naught q two q three moving on this uh, last state q naught q one q two q three q naught q one q two q three so q naught with zero is q naught q one q one with zero is q three anyhow q three with zero is null then q naught q1 q2 q3 with 1 so q0 with uh, 1 is uh, q0 q2 q1 with uh, 1 is null q2 with 1 is uh, q3 q3 with 1 is null it's done now fix up the final states since q3 is the final state wherever you combinations you find uh, q3 you make it as a final state so q0 q3 q1 q3 q2 q3 q0 q1 q3 q0 q2 q3 as well as q0 q1 q2 q3 this is done okay now what is the next step next step is step 2 select only those states which are reachable from start state that's it so how do i do that start state is this i copy this first as it is i copy it as it is then check out so it is uh, q0 q1 and q0 q2 so these are the new states what we have got copy that q0 q1 you just completely copy that so you got the transition for q0 q1 then you write it for q0 q2 so it is q0 q2 so again the new state what you have got is q0 q1 q3 and uh, q0 q2 q3 copy that it is q0 q1 q3 q0 q1 q3 and q0 q2 q3 so copy those two uh, okay i'll copy one by one copy q0 q1 q3 first q0 q1 q3 then the next state would be q0 q2 q3 so this is the state is q0 q2 this copy this that's clear so now you have only five states uh, what do you mean by reachability you start from start state whichever states you get as a new you just write the transition for that so q0 with 0 is q0 q1 q0 with 0 1 is q0 q2 so you, you get these two states so write the transition for q0 q1 and q0 q2 then you got q0 q1 q3 wrote the transition for that similarly you got a state q0 q2 q3 wrote the transition for that this part you can say it is almost similar to your uh, lazy evaluation so this is the only extra step we perform to write it as a listing of the subsets i think now we can able to understand this is the resultant uh, uh, diagram sorry table what you have got anyhow that the diagram will be same as listed out here so this is the same diagram what we have so i just copy paste it into this
so this is also final state hope you can just check out that the diagram is same whether you perform uh, lazy evaluation method or subset construction method the result will be same anyhow the one more sub question already listed out here list out strings accepted by result in dfa that is already done so we can just check out the list accepted so list accepted maybe you can say set as b it may be 0 0 1 1 and 0 1 1 and so on you can just list it out anyhow the same thing was shown there in the previous uh, method also you can just check it out accordingly so conclusion is it is better to use table for writing or solving the problem of subset construction method lazy evaluation also same i can't say same it is almost similar only thing is here we write a transitions for uh, every state whichever the new state we obtain but there are people who would combine these two and also do it sometimes so they can use a table and they can only start writing the problem they can solve the problem like rather than uh, adding this uh, table here instead you can go for this table this table itself you can start with this whatever shades you open you can keep writing it this you can directly write this uh, solution only if you have practiced so many problems but remember if you know one problem to solve whichever problem is given you can easily solve no need to worry about it so better to understand one single problem how to solve it so now you have taken this problem this completes the nfa and the conversion of nfa to dfa so let sessions will be on epsilon nfas keep watching subscribe the channel click on the bell icon keep sharing inform your friends keep watching thank you